This video explains how to create a user profile as well as searching for objects on OER Commons and accessing the evaluation tool. All you need is an email address and password to register on OER Commons. Click Register Now to begin. After typing your email address and creating a password, a confirmation email will be sent to you. Once you confirm your email address, you can begin seeking out and evaluating OER objects on the site. If you already know the kind of resource you are looking for, you can insert keywords into the search bar at the top of the web page by using a traditional or advanced search, much like using an online search engine. By using the advanced search function, users can search by certain keywords, common core standards, rubrics used to evaluate, or a host of other categories including subject area and grade level. To sort by evaluation tool ratings, choose a rubric category on the advanced search page. The search results will appear with the highest rated objects for that particular rubric at the top of the list. You can do the same for the Common Core State Standards in either Math or English Language Arts. To perform this search, choose a specific standards grade level, category, and alignment tag. The resulting list will be sorted similarly with the highest rated objects listed first. Users can also browse by subject area or grade level by using the navigation on the left side of the OER Commons homepage. After clicking on a particular category to browse or clicking search as part of an advanced or basic search, a resulting list will appear sorted alphabetically. You can customize your search results by changing the number of results per page, sorting by title, relevance, the star ratings, date of contribution, and number of visits. Click on the title of a resource to access it. On the resources page, you can click on Go to OER item to see the item itself, as well as Evaluate resource to begin evaluating. Users should review each object thoroughly before electing to evaluate that resource, as ratings should reflect the quality of the resource as a whole, not just its specific parts. After choosing to evaluate, a floating frame will display the tool on the right-hand side with a web page showing the resource behind it. After reading through the introductory material and guidelines, click Start Evaluating to use the tool. By default, the tool will open to Rubric 1 first, but you can choose to evaluate with the rubrics in any order just by clicking on each rubric's title, and the ratings for each rubric will drop down. Be aware that if an object has not already been aligned, users must first align the object to a standard before using Rubric 1 or can choose to skip this rubric entirely. When looking at a rubric in the OER Evaluation tool, you can see the scoring descriptors by moving your mouse over the rating numbers. You can select your rating by clicking on the radio button that best corresponds to the object. Notice that you have an opportunity to leave a comment related to this evaluation by clicking the comment button in the bottom left hand corner. If you select a rating but are still unsure, you can delete that rating and return to this rubric at a later time by clicking on clear rating also at the bottom left next to the comment button. Click on save and go to next rubric to save your results and rate according to other rubrics. Once you are finished evaluating, click View Results to review your ratings, then Finalize and submit them.